Well, right, okay, we're ready. Ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah, well, are you ready now? I'm ready now. I'm sure. Bit ready for this. Oh, okay. over. Oh, right. <laughs> Hi, welcome to another episode of winemastery.co.uk. We're here to tell you all about wine. My name is John Whitefoot. This is John Murphy. And we're hopefully going to teach you uh, to, or help you find the wine or maybe the wines that you will absolutely love. So we're over in San Fran. San Fran? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, being far too cool. <laughs> and yes, we've had, a, we've had the Sauvignon. Delicious. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, the Chardonnay, even I, I really like that Chardonnay. Yeah. yeah. And now we're going on to the Riesling. Riesling. The Riesling. Now I've been looking forward to this one because I do like Riesling, yes. and I've never had uh, never had one from 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 USA. <laughs> Two glasses in. Uh, so let's get the glass. Right. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you are one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nor am I. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. So, oh, it's a Oh. Again it's kind of come it's It's been quite pal. Compared to what I was expecting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is is um pale. And it's it's still got that kind of nice gold in there and it's not just yeah. Again it's bright. It is. Oh, and then you smelt it for you then. Well, we can do this. We can do this together. Can we do it together? Petro. Yes. Petro. Yes. It's almost like a, a really. Now, someone, someone's just sort of popped in onto our video, completely new to wine, um, and they haven't sort of seen any of the earlier ones. They're going to think, God, what they? That sounds awful. <coughs> it does. It does. It does. I'll say that again, it does, um, and when I'm doing my testing as well, it, say it, does. It, 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 it does sound a little bit awful, but re really it's not, um, but it is, it's a very, very obvious smell in, in, in the Riesling uh, that comes through, and it is very kind of petrol diesel -y. it just kind of, it hits you, I mean, it's one of these ways where you can't put your finger on it, but then again, when somebody says, yeah. uh, that's what it is, and it's immediately, yeah, that is it. However, it doesn't really come through in, in, into the flavour. <laughs> we said that now. <laughs> yeah, we said it now. We'll have to taste to make sure. But whoa, is that is. It almost feel like I could run a, just on the smell, just on the smell, run a lawnmower on this. Yeah, it, it, it is very obvious, very apparent, yeah. very in your face. But like, oh, you can for me underneath, you can I can smell a kind of touch of honeyed sweetness. Can you? There as well. yeah. I I just can't get past the petrol. It's no, it is. It is <clears throat> I want somebody to just say that to you. It's kind of that's it, isn't yeah, it? Dunk. Yeah, yeah. Almost that. Mmm. That. You know it's <clears throat> you know it's a good one when you do have a taste <clears throat> and you just smile. Yeah, that's lovely. Isn't that it? is lush. It is, it's beautiful. And said that again, it is lush, but this I mean it by no means tastes like that 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 this smell. Yeah, it does have that kind of petrol style, but there comes nowhere near the flavour. The flavour is more... The honeyed sweetness comes through in there. But what's very unusual is you kind of... You, you taste that, that sweetness, but then you think that's going to be a bit cloying and a bit too much, because I can't say I'm a massive fan of the sweet wines. But then the acidity almost kind of cleans the palate nicely and just just leaves that hanging there. It's not it's not overly cloy at all. That, that's... Um, a very well made wine. Having said that about sweet wines, you yeah. you in the last few episodes where we've tried some, you've actually said you need to try some more because you you started to get into the taste of. Again, this well, it's, it's a journey, isn't it? It's, yeah. um, and I think perhaps my taste buds are changing. Maybe. Well, they are. They're always changing, aren't they? But perhaps I'm liking the sweeter wines more because this is something I wouldn't have. Well, I wouldn't have said of. I would have liked. But that's changed the. It's changed my opinion as. Such. I think what it's done is it's, it's that sweetness is there and and then it, it has cut it out, the acidity has got rid of it, so I'm enjoying it and then you're left with this rich kind of after flavour, what would you say? Yeah, but it's not a sickly taste, it's not sort of like, mm -hmm. what's the word? Sometimes it just gets kind of cloying, cloy yeah. Yeah, and cloy and kind yeah. of hangs around, it can be just too much, but that's, that's delicious, mm. and my favourite. Which means the price is going to be more expensive. <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> well, I, I think that again that deserves. It's so interesting though because it's got 
how we can get from that 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 smell of petrol, which yeah. is not un it's not an unnice smell, not at all. No, no, no. No, it's a hint of it rather than it's just. Mm. It's just petrol. very, very interesting that you can get that from, and that, but then from there into that that different flavour because it not it doesn't come through and then to have that clean finish, yeah, mm. and, that, and that nice mouth feel as well. I uh, see that's that's the kind of wine again I could drink. Um, Quite a lot of because because it's so much you kind of the glasses on your face all the time thinking what's that kind of whoa that is lovely yeah this wine is so lovely what we should do is we should do an episode of, of red wines that they they come from this vineyard if only if only we could if only we could I think we could do that next time next episode next. number fifty eight <laughs> <laughs> next episode number fifty eight we'll do all red wines oh. from this because so far that, that's excellent they've got tick 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 you got tick tick tick. That yeah. doesn't always happen, does it? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So, so but we must say as well, a, a thank you to uh, to you guys for letting yeah, let us know this. Guys. It's delicious. Thank mm. you. It's very it very nice. <laughs> oh, excellent. Guess what I'm drinking for the rest of the evening. Oh, <laughs> oh did we get a price? No, we didn't. Okay. Do you want to go? For I, I'm, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to guess the price that you're thinking rather because we don't know what price. Do oh, we? hey, go for it. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go for twenty-eight pounds. You wouldn't be far off. I, I, I would say more twenty-five. Really? Really? Yeah. But yeah, let me rethink this. <laughs> uh, uh. I, I have to rethink. No. What would I is, is what would I be prepared to pay for that? And yeah. I would happily pay twenty five quid for that. Yeah. Happily. Yes. It's special. Mm. Very nice. That's got character. Mm. It, it's just very interesting. That's got a lot going on and it's just very different. Yeah. I really, really would recommend that. Excellent. But something just a bit different to kind of broaden horizons. I would say if you get stuck and that's what this is about, if you wanted to try something so we bit different, I'd, I'd go for that. So will you be getting something, do you think? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah? So I, I depends how much it is. Yeah, it depends how much it is, guys. <laughs> yes, we'll definitely, so be, if, definitely if stop you're, it all. If you're getting that in, it, at the bottom, you'll see the link. So, fantastic. Mm. Well, great. So next next episode, we're going to look at some uh, red wine from the same yes. vineyard. I'm really yes. excited. That'd be good. And also, we've got a, a, uh, an invite to a secret location. Well, I'm not sure it's going to be the episode after that, or maybe a few episodes after that, but a secret location for a very special distillery that's just started up. Uh -huh. And we're going to get in on ground zero and taste some of the, uh, the batches as they've experimented towards what they're going to produce. That'd be really exciting. That is going to be, uh, that's going to be a lovely night out, isn't it? Lovely it's gonna, night out. It's yeah. going to be very good, very, very good. See, if you must... Keep an eye out for that one. Yes, yes, you must. So, until the next episode, we'll see you there. Have a uh, good week or a good few moments until you watch the next video. Cheers. Chin chin. Chin chin.